Hey right guys, Trojan Winters Joe here, and today we are watching and reacting to episode 9 of Grey's Anatomy Season 2. I just checked on Tracked, and as of right now, we are 4% of the way through the entire show. Round of applause, we're doing well. I mean, for most other shows, we'd be about 15-20% to 20 of the way through the show, but Grey's Anatomy... 4% and the show is still airing so that number is probably going to go down if I don't if I don't keep on top of it but uh yeah I enjoyed the last episode I think most of this most of the season has been really solid so far so episode 9 if you enjoy make sure to leave a like if you're new remember to subscribe and if you do want the early and uncut reactions to Grey's Anatomy as well as every other show that I do then Patreon will of course be linked down below where they will be uh again I keep wanting to say towards the end of season 2 but definitely not they'll be on around episode 19 or 20 of season two. But for now, let's do this. Gratitude. Appreciation. Is it Thanksgiving? Yep. Thanksgiving episode off the first... D didn't have one in season one, so... God, the amount of Thanksgiving episodes I've seen. Grateful. For friends. Family. Happy to just be alive. Hey. Why are you trying to sneak out? What do you think you're doing? Uh, answering the door. You're going to the hospital? Yes, Meredith, but everyone is supposed to be in the kitchen by 9 a.m. to help me make dinner. It's Thanksgiving. I genuinely wonder if there's going to be a single episode where they're not at the hospital. Like they go on holiday or something. They go to Ibiza. Uh, this where Georgie lives? Georgie. O'Malley. Where is he? Upstairs? Oh, George. Are they his family? Yeah. Oh, O'Malley! Oh, okay. Meredith! Oh, oh, <laughs> She's I'm serious. Ran. You need to be back here for dinner at 6. I mean it. Wow, they broke that door. So, um, I was thinking... Why did Derek and Allison just take the boat everywhere? Have sex tonight. Oh! <laughs> don't suggest something so heinous. And it's the first time... Since Mark. Ha! <laughs> and Meredith. That's not equal. That's not even Stevens at all. I don't know, just rip the stitches, get it over with. Get it over with. Right. What do you think? Very romantic. Lots and lots of surgeries. I never thought of that. She was in Friends, by the way, Meredith. You can't function 10 feet away from the hospital. Oh, I notice you're both here. Well, I'm here for an hour. I'm on my way home. <sighs> right, sure, sure. You'll be here for the rest of the episode then. Look, I'm here for one day. I don't need my ass kissed. All I need is to tell you what to do and you All do right, it. All right, God. Some people just want to be miserable, don't they? Whatever. There's only one resident I want in my OR. The guy they call the Nazi. Do you know him? The, the Nazi. He gets great word of mouth. Oh. Stellar rep. Balls the size of Texas. That be. <laughs> what like that could be? Sounds like talented man, this Nazi. <laughs> do you know him or not? Page me if you get confused. Oh, no. I'm sure to do that. Going every year, my father, my brothers, and I hunt, shoot, and kill a helpless, slow moving turkey. Isn't that great? Yeah, that sounds great. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, I can't make dinner by myself. Who's gonna help me? Who's gonna help me? I'd definitely rather be with Izzy, but. Oh, Mayfield she still exists, son. Mayfield. He's in the garden? Garden. Vegetable. Yeah, his chart says he fell into a persistent vegetative state 16 years ago. 16 years ago. I'd be like, just pull me down, pull me out of my misery. 16 years like that. I'd give anything for your kind of serenity. Uh, right. Great. Now I'm jealous of vegetables. You just look so peaceful. <laughs> <laughs> or not, get jump scared. He's like, can you shut the fuck up? You just said you'd rather be a vegetable than whining about Derek. What the hell? I don't blame him for jump scaring her. <laughs> My PBS case, he opened his eyes, and I think he was looking at me. <laughs> well, he definitely was. Gray, get a CT, have neuro consult. But it, trust me, he wasn't looking at you. No, he definitely was, for sure. Montgomery yes! Shepherd. Here we go, I'm buzzing about these two. Shepard is with Montgomery Shepard. Okay. Or anything having to do with syphilis. <laughs> it's half past ten, you're late. I've had to try to do all this. Oh, hi, Dr. Burke, hello. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this shouldn't be fun. What was I supposed to do? Blow off my boyfriend for Thanksgiving? No. Don't blow off Burke. People who are shocked when I show up uninvited to their homes call me Preston. <sighs> Nobody calls you Preston. <coughs> yeah, to be fair, I always write down Burke. I know that's his last name, but. Meredith went to the hospital and George is off shooting things with his family. Uh, so it's just me, you, and Preston. And Alex, when he shows up. 
Oh, fun. Hey, where are you? Okay, call me back. Is something burning? Why did they want oh, hate? God. Oh, they don't hate him, I don't think. Then go home. Adele's sister's in town. I hate that woman. The <laughs> OR board needs to be checked one more time. Fun. It does, doesn't it? Excuse me. But he was looking at me. He wasn't looking at you. He, he was. was. The CT report says he wasn't. He Do was. you want to argue with what I know <laughs> I saw? No, Meredith. I don't want to argue with you anymore. I gotta go on my Anymore? Oh, Terry, whatever. Boo boo. He was looking at you. Okay, I'm glad we're taking her seriously. You'll be the one to shoot the turkey today. I can feel it. See, I don't think thing. he I wants don't to. I want to shoot the turkey. You say that every year. God. Well, and every year I don't shoot the turkey. <laughs> so, no, yeah, he has a point, actually. You've never made a Thanksgiving dinner before. You can't I bet he's going to be a pro. Izzy. Well, I'm a baker. I bake, but I've seen my grandmother cook a million times. Yeah, but has got the jacket off. And I can't figure out which side of the turkey is the top and which is the bottom. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Oh, the 360 well, neck let's crack. Get the turkey up and running, Stevens. I was sure he was. Look, he just did it again. Mr. McKee, can you follow the light? I can't imagine you had to be trying so hard to, I'd imagine. Okay, well, I know you're. Hey, he's just done it again. So. Keep talking. What? Walk over here. What? Just keep walking. Talk. Meredith's that attractive. He, they, she can bring people out of vegetative states. It's you. He's tracking you. He's following you. So she was correct. So everyone be like, hey, you bullshit. He's minimally conscious and no one noticed. He was in a regular nursing home, so they just. Missed it. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> He's been frozen, God. sleeping for 16 years, and they missed it. Great. Imagine how many people there are out there that is just, they've missed it as well. Alex, it's Izzy. If you're not coming, you could at least have the decency to call and tell me. Literally tell her, what the hell? We, again, more reasons to hate Alex. With shotguns and liquor and car talk, it's like deliverance out here. Come on, let's break! One, two, three, jump! Well, at least you've got- God. Listen, can you come and get me? Okay, how, how <laughs> am I supposed to get through the holidays without liquor, George? Just come and Good get point. me. Derek, it's me. Where are you? Everyone's blowing everyone off about telling them. Which one do you think she is? Alda's wife? Yeah. It's her. How do you know? She's a Jedi master, apparently. Mrs. McKee? It's Mrs. Leonard now. Ah, uh, she got remarried. How long does it take? If we're right, your father will be awake in a few hours. <gasps> Imagine that, that'd be wild. They could have got him away within a few hours, 16 years ago. I know this is a, a difficult situation. I just got married. Just. We were having a baby in December, and Kobe turned 17 on Thursday. Well, difficult. so what? Mrs. Leonard, Holden is going to wake up and find out that we didn't wait for him. That means 16 years. Took her a long time to move on. No can do, sir. The Nazi has me on this surgery. We've got a line out the door for sutures. Everybody's an amateur chef until they get a knife in their hands. Knives can be tricky. <laughs> She's a boss, I love her. Your wife wow. is working today? <laughs> I'm going home. I just wanted to watch a little bit. <laughs> I'm sure you are going home any minute now. Happy Thanksgiving. Joe, thank God. Hey, oh, this, this guy Walter. is my boyfriend, Walter. Whatever. Walter. Tell me you brought him. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> oh, don't do that, bro. Come on, pick a car. I don't want to pick a car. I can't listen to that. I can't listen to that. I have to be on top of my game 100% of the time. It's incredibly difficult. Yes, hype yourself up, George. So you don't actually do anything. Oh, God, I hate people like this. Yes, I do. So I'm better than you because they're so bore off. Real doctors save lives, Georgie. I mean, if you're just standing there. Oh, for God's George, what? We're just not talking about the day you're in the elevator. <laughs> no! I won't go home. Just as soon as you shoot your turkey. I failed the medical boards. Oh, we failed it? But you should go. Otherwise, you're just. me. A miserable disease, dirty ex mistress. It's hot. It's really hot. <laughs> well, Alex. better already. It's so annoying that Alex has, like, actual scenes that make him alright. Happy Thanksgiving. So I'm waiting. It's like, I want it. I want to like Alex, but I'm not going to just pretend I do. <laughs> I don't, I'm not there yet. Hello. Hello, it's been 16 years, sir. Somebody there. Somebody's here. 
Uh, God, imagine you just wake up at like 16 years has passed, bro. Reach my wife? Yeah. Hey, uh, is she coming? I mean, God. Have you told her? Or do you, do you wait until she gets here? Because this is gonna be quite a shock. How long have I been out? Uh, here we go. Uh, times 15. <laughs> no anesthesia. Exactly. Oh. Uh, mm. well, he's trying to relate to himself. I'll be right outside if you need me. Oh, bro. Truth time. Yeah, yeah, he's got to tell Truth him. time. I didn't really see it. Now, what should you be concerned about? Um, the turkey, Stevens. I expect you to know that. <laughs> right. I need to check yeah, the turkey bug. and make sure it's cooking at the correct temperature. Ten bucks says she dries up the turkey. Twenty says she pulls it off. Seventy-five says I don't care. <laughs> I guess you've won then, because you don't. Uh, more pressure. Turkey has a tough shell. Dig in. I'm in. Damn, she got it in. It's kind of good seeing like Izzy and Burke, I don't know, interacting, I guess. But be careful not to... Oh! oh you hit the bone. The pan is filling with juice and you're losing moisture. What do you do? Um... Think. I'm out of here. Whoa, what's the problem? Hey, what's the problem? Literally. You're operating on a turkey? Yeah, a bit of fun. Making it relatable. And you're making friends with my friends. Okay, you'd rather they don't get along? Yeah, yeah be nice. You know, I'm just gonna go uh, to the store and get some liquor. Can I have the keys, please? At least you don't get the problem. You're the only one being a problem here. I love you, Christina, but... We came out here so I could shoot a turkey. Dad said we're not leaving until I shoot a turkey. I am shooting this turkey. Then go for it, bro. No pressure. Look at what he's gonna chicken at. Yeah! Did he get it? You got it. Oh, he actually got it. You got it, Georgie! Let's go home! Speed running going home. What now? What does that mean? Damn. An epidural hematoma. What does that mean? When you fell out of your bed this morning, you hit your temple hard. The CT didn't catch it, but the MRI did. And you can fix it. Won't be easy. Yeah, but you wake up and it's like, you have only got one hour to live, by the way. Most likely, without the operation, you'll die. But the operation could kill me too, right? Yeah, it's not not the best of scenarios for you. What do I do? I'd go for the operation. What would you do? I can't answer this for you. God, he's having a brutal little life. Dr. Burke, how did you learn to cook like this? My mother owns a restaurant in Alabama. Hell Seriously? Yeah. Seriously. Does Christina know that? No. I don't think Christina asks much about him, if we're being honest. She doesn't ask a lot of personal questions. And there you go. <laughs> Do you know that there's absolutely no liquor in this house? Oh, uh, yeah. Christina went to get some. Over an hour ago. Where is she? Oh, it's been over an hour. She's gone to Swallowed work. A wishbone? Yes. Excellent. We'll have to take <sighs> some films. Maybe you rupture kind of doing my head in this up. We gotta blood you. Oh, no. No. Uh, there you go. Now you're officially an O'Malley man. I'm oh, sure <laughs> took him, what, like 25 uh, yeah. or 26 That's years? I'm going solo for Georgia. It's not the best idea, guys. I'm serious. Don't. <laughs> Did they just shoot that dog? You shot that in the ass. Are you happy now? Oh. <laughs> what is this family? <laughs> Oh, we just killed Dad. Oh, no. I told you he doesn't know Jack about cars. He doesn't know Jack about Jack. God, I don't like George's family that much. Really. First you say the GTO. Sabade just jumped to the end and named the Thunderbird now so that once in our lives, we can stop picking cars. <laughs> and my name is George. Yeah, his family and their conversation seems extremely dull. So I'm back at George. Says we have the same eyes. You actually don't at all. I don't see it. His eyes are blue, yours are brown. <laughs> you literally do not have the same eyes. That this guy, Hal, is uh, really good for her. She loves him. Yeah, imagine waking up as well and it's like, oh yeah, you asked me remarried. And get this thing out of my head. Let me get on with my 
my life. God, you like. Surely Meredith is thinking, I like, maybe my life doesn't suck that much. <laughs> why don't you plan this big dinner if you knew you couldn't cook? Um, yeah, why not? She wants to like company. Dr. Brooke. Preston. <laughs> Preston. We work 18 hours a day, six days oh, a week, mad. 50 weeks a year. For five pounds a day. To be fair, surgeons get paid a lot, don't they? Yeah, probably still not enough, but surgeons get big money. You and Dr. Burke? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he would have made a good father. Oh, uh, maybe they could try again in like season 17. <laughs> I honestly don't know what I'd want. I'd want the surgery. I know you don't. Because then, like, if it's successful, at least, you know, you're good. Whereas if you don't have it, then you're just kind of waiting, like, you're not going to know, like, oh, is it, is it still bleeding? Waiting to die. Jerry is a dry cleaner. Ronnie works in a post office. I drive a truck. You're a surgeon. You're not one of us. I know it, and they know it. Well, that's going to make him feel good, you I'm sure. I'm sure we know it. Really? They, he makes sure you know it? Because you don't want to shoot a turkey. How oh, you're so smart? Like, Bore I off. did something right. We try. Not really. But damn it, we don't treat you like you're stupid. You treat us like we're stupid. I have not seen it that way at all, but sure. <laughs> but we're your family. Uh. Give us an inch, Georgie. I saved a guy's life on an elevator last month. Boom, I'll tell him to say that. I performed open heart surgery on him right there. By yourself? That's something. George is busting himself. Oh, has he died? Oh, bro! Why? What a miserable day for him. That's gonna be like the worst day of his life. Damn. What number was he? 14. Oh no. Sorry, Izzy, it's after 8. Gotta get to the bar. Izzy's oh, by himself. It's one of the busiest days of the year. People need a safe haven from the bitterness, loneliness, quality family. At least he showed up. Bye, Walter. Thanks for coming. That's so sad. No one showed up for her. So, Alex is a prick. Meredith isn't that bad about it. Christine has annoyed me. George was going out with his family, so he's not that much. Today I committed bird murder, and I was forced to touch my dad's ass. I get extra points for showing up at all. Sure. I brought booze. And he went to the hospital. <laughs> Let's just eat. Uh, she can't be bothered. Uh, you know, uh, she can't be bothered to make a point about how much she will piss me off. <laughs> Alex didn't even go. Do you love her? Ah, we're back to this. You don't love her, mate. You don't even want to have sex with her. It's done. <sighs> what if these two are like the Rage on Ross of the show where they don't even get together to like see them? Gift Bye, Derek. Is that her way of being like, I'm moving on. You're doing your thing. It took her like, what, three eps, four eps for when he made his decision. Has nothing to do with joy. Hey. I thought he just appeared. Hey. You going inside? No, you go ahead. You sure? Yeah. Go make her happy. I don't think she'll be too happy, but you can try. Go home right now. This kind of treatment is why they call you the Nazi. Appreciating <laughs> small victories. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> what a knob. Uh, I got bullied. I was nice. Yo, you smashed it. She's been the problem. My mother owns a restaurant in Alabama. I scrubbed in on a foreign body removal this afternoon. A guy swallowed a wishbone hole. Cool. Uh, we're being honest. Admiring the struggle it takes. We both got a day off. <laughs> She's sour in the rain. 
Oh, he got drenched instantly. <laughs> there we go. Big decision. Maybe we're Crossroads. For the familiar things we know. No anesthesians. Where are we going? Wow, well, he's going. And maybe for it. we're thankful for the things we'll never know. <sighs> Wrong decision, mate. He's so clearly not into it. And look at Meredith. Sorry, but there we go. Yeah. Man number three shooting a shot. Actually, probably the tenth guy. At the end of the day, he looks like the that fact guy that we have succession. the courage to still be standing. Do you want to buy me a drink? No, I actually just wanted to sit here. Actually, I do. No, he doesn't actually. I take that was just said about succession. <laughs> All right, there we go, guys. That is episode nine of Grey's Anatomy season two. That looks like Meredith's sign to kind of move on from Derek. I feel like, it, it, in the grand scheme of things, like it is a bit early on to kind of have Meredith and Derek be the thing. I, I think the show is aware, like we need to keep them, the audience waiting because audiences love their romances. I love a good romance, like I say. But luckily for me, I don't ship Meredith and Derek that much. I think, say like. A 10 out of 10 ship is like some of my favourite ships in TV history. I'd say Derek and Meredith are like a uh, 6. They're fine. I don't think they're incredible. It's not like I need them to get together or I'm going to die. But they're not awful either. So I'd say they're better than average. They do have chemistry. I like both the characters. But I think it's just there's other things going on in this show at the moment that I'm just more into and learning about the characters and the surgeries. And for me, like, Burke and Christina are far better in terms of chemistry and romance than... And again, they have their problems. Like, Christina's got a lot to work on, and Burke made an actual effort, I think, and did a good job with Izzy. So I feel like Izzy and Burke didn't really get their dues for this episode because Christina just kind of ran off. And I guess she's going through her stuff as well, and I think maybe she's seen it, like... I don't know, she was she wanted alcohol, but what what was really the problem? Was it like Burke was doing a good job? <laughs> Burke was making an effort? I don't I didn't really understand that. So she went away. I'm sure there's some deeper meaning. Like maybe it's like she's getting too close or it's all getting a bit too real and comfortable. Sure, but yeah, I don't know. Like what what does she really want? So and then no one really apologised to Izzy, like she, Izzy just f I guess Izzy was just fine with Alex kind of wandering in. Like I get his point of view, he didn't want to go because he failed the test and didn't want Izzy to just be nice about it. But you could have just told her, I'm not going to be there until later. That's all he, all he needed to say. Because Izzy said in the episode that he'd not even... Oh no, she called him, I think, to say, if you're not coming then just tell me, <laughs> kind of thing. And he didn't. Uh, George was pretty good this episode. I like, I like that I backed himself. I don't like any of his family. You make us feel stupid. Why? Because he has a good job. Mm, okay. <laughs> um... Well, Alex, Alex was okay. Meredith was actually pretty good. I liked the case of the the guy who was um, in a coma for... Or not in a coma, he was in vegetative state for 16 years. Then came out of that, found out it's been 16 years, his son's all grown up, uh, and doesn't really want to see him. <laughs> and his wife's remarried and is pregnant. Oh, and also you need to have the surgery or you're pretty much going to die. Has the surgery and dies. That's miserable. That is so miserable. <laughs> but... A uh, Grey's Anatomy, do you think, I guess. Um, yeah, very good episode. I'm not quite going to go an 8 out of 10 for this episode, but I do think it was close. I'd go like a, I think a 7.7 .7 for this episode. Our, th our first Thanksgiving episode of many, I'm sure. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Let me know if you thought of the episode down below in the comments, and I'll see you next time for episode 10. Until then, take care. Peace.